Well, when I think about an important teacher who was not a poetry teacher, it's Mr. Terry, 10th grade algebra. And the beautiful thing about Mr. Terry was his attitude. When we guys messed around, he would simply say, oh, guys, calm down, relax, whatever. He didn't get hyper and act as if he'd committed the crime of the century. And it was just purely that attitude, which if all the teachers had at school would be so much better. Now for poetry, I did not major in poetry. I never took an academic poetry class. So I have to look to people that I had little workshops with. Allen Ginsberg, basically the workshop elaborated on the concept of hydrogen jukebox, juxtaposing different things and turning them into a new image that didn't exist before. And that was just, I knew hydrogen jukebox, but till I sat there with Alan in that little group and heard him talk about it, I didn't really get it, but then I got it. And then there was a little poetry conference at a little college in Western Maryland. And Gary Snyder was the, um, the honcho for the conference. And in the course of the weekend, I got to spend quite a bit of time with him. So between his formal presentations and just conversing, I feel like it was very meaningful. And then I've got to mention Kenneth Rexroth because he's the greatest. His relationship with nature and his fabulous love poems are always an inspiration. And finally, Eileen Miles. I got her book, Not Me, back when it was first published. And somehow the way her poems streamed down the page, I guess you could call it, it inspired me. I don't know. I said, I somehow got an idea of how you can do that. And so thanks, Eileen. And those are some teachers some people who ended up being teachers for me.